Art viewed through the eyes of a young person. That was the hands-on opportunity this week at the Marshall Community Center in Dorchester. With help from the Living Art Program, students combined shapes and colors to create masks for celebrating the Day of the Dead. The project was a bridge between the real and the imaginary, as well as between traditional formulas and the personal touch of creativity. It was also a chance for students to make something that could be appreciated by other people. I am a really creative person and I like to like do a lot of art and stuff and like creating stuff that cool and beautiful for other each each people and the people that I, I love. When I walk in here is it feels it feels like I just want to spread everything out, but at the at the second point, you have to keep it all to yourself until everybody sees your mask. Because I'm like really excited. I want to tell everybody what I'm doing, but at the same time, I have to keep it to myself for I, for they could all be surprised. Our elementary age um, young people are able to create masks to be able to create different ornaments for the Christmas trees, and they can really see uh, all their potential and all their abilities to create art, even though they. They think they might not be able to draw or they're not creative when they come into this class they can really see how uh, they're able to express all their feelings into some type of an art piece they can keep the mask and in years to come they can have it hanging on the wall and see what they look like when they were this age and what the, how they painted at this age and of course because of doing such intense art making with us at living art we think that they will go on being art makers, sometimes for their careers, sometimes connected to their careers, and sometimes as an extra thing in their life.